Hello everyone and welcome back to Piston Cup Diecast. Today we have here Chris Freightman. And now, man, it's been a while because I actually found Case G in June at HEB. Um, I found their um the Ruby Easy Oaks, Kevin Schiff right. I found their Mateo laying around Tony Motorfelt, and they were all there. But there was a couple of missing. Um, there was Boost was missing, and there was Chris Freightman, and I believe Radiator Springs was in that case also. So yeah, somebody beat me um, to that HEB in June, and I was kind of really looking forward to finding Chris after I found Tony. But um, yeah, I also went to um, Target in my last hunt vid, the one that had like case g at target finally and they had everything boost radiator springs mcqueen and the one car was taken chris freightman now i went to a target today actually and bro finally he was just hiding behind um who was it? he was hiding behind uh ruby easy oaks and i literally pulled him out and i was just so glad i finally got him so if you don't know who Chris Freightman is, he is actually the, he was actually in the trucks episode in the side, but he can be also may be used as Herb Kerbler. Um, if you're wondering who Herb Kerbler is, he is the next gen racer, but Herb Kerbler is also the next gen emergency vehicle. Um, they were supposed to release him, I believe. Um, there is a book, a cars book. Um, featuring Herb Kerbler's image um, and his description. And a custom of him has been made by um, the Diecast Dungeon, also known as Four Wheel Drive. Um, here's an image of his custom. Yeah, so that custom looks really sick. I really would have preferred if they released the Cars 3 version of him, Herb Kerbler, with the decals, because our last Cars 3 new release was Break Your Bugs, and Cars and Road has been getting too much attention. So, yeah, I feel like this was a great opportunity, but I don't know. They decided what they wanted to do with it, and yeah, I feel like if they gave us Herb Kerbler, they would have gotten their audience hyped up again. But, um, yeah, Adam Rodriguez over here was also seen next to him in the trucks episode. He was on the other side, Chris was on the other side, and Mater was in the middle, like, dancing, uh, I don't know, because he felt like he was in a truck like a real truck and that whole episode was just basically musicals all right so enough about that and let's take a closer look at chris all right so his um box is kind of really huge this would have been maybe a deluxe back in the day um his artwork obviously had been shrunken up a lot because the blister is humongous i mean usually a car's blister is up to here and they had to really expand it and go out of their way Damn, I just really messed up the lighting. But, um, yeah. Here, you can see how his tow hook is kind of large, so they had to enlarge the card. And, yeah, new for 2024. And he was the only one I was missing from KSG. So, yeah. So, then back here, we have here Tractor Ghost, um, Deputy Slime Queen, President Meter, Caveman Meter. Now, I'm missing him out of all of them. I'm missing him because I found out of Walmart, and Target, Slime McQueen, Full Case E, um, a bunch of Quadra Torquosaurus, um, a bunch of Tractor Ghost, a bunch of President Mater, but I haven't been able to find Caveman Mater. So, yeah, this is Chris Freightman. This is Chris Freightman, as I was about to say. And, yeah, I'll be right back with them all opened up. All right, now that Chris is all opened up, he looks great. I really love that tow hook and how he overall looks. Um, so yeah, Chris over here, you can see he's like a tow truck model, um, similar to race tow truck Tom. And here's an image of where Chris appeared, or you can refer to him as Herb. So um, yeah, this is just a copy and paste um from Cars Three because. Cars 3, um, he was seen in the background. Um, he was a, he's basically an emergency vehicle because 
yeah, there's nothing really to base him off in Cars on the Road besides a side character that was in the background. So, yeah. So, basically, he was there, and yeah. So, you can see his siren on the top. Nice, um, sturdy siren compared to Deputy Hazard's McQueen siren. And even Adam Rodriguez's siren. Because um, McQueen's siren has been broken off if you take off the slime. So, yeah. So let's take a closer look at his details. So you can see here how he has some nice detailing of dirt. Um, I believe, yeah, Adam has as well. Yeah, so Phylon really likes to do a lot of detailing on their cars, like if it's dirt or something. So yeah, he has detail everywhere. Nice little specks of dirt everywhere. And now this tow hook. Um, this does not come off. I feel like you could take this off, this black part off of the tow hook. So, yeah, really nice tow hook details. This is a flimsy material. Really just, like, looks realistic. Now his license plate is over there. And, um, yeah, we can't read that, but it's H-O something. So, yeah. And you can see here, it's the same thing on the other side. It's tow hook, like he towed somebody. And um, yeah, I really don't want to break it off, so I'm not really going to force it. So he has like these little tire things, I guess. And his emergency lights and everything. So yeah, this is Chris over here. Nice expression to his headlights. And now... This is how they were basically. Um, Chris was like that really far at the end. There was like a bunch of cars, but I really don't have to put anything there. So yeah, maybe it was just in the middle. And yeah, they were just dancing over there. And now, if you want to use this as an emergency vehicle for Cars 3, you can also. It doesn't really have to be used for the trucks episode because yeah, I just. I just think that episode was a waste. It was just music. So yeah, you can also use this in the background of your piston cup. Imagine if Mattel labeled Adam Rodriguez as a piston cup um, emergency vehicle, even if he didn't appear in the movie, like these two. That would be so cool. I would literally love to see them um, as piston cup. Like they would have put some piston cup de decals on Herb Kerber like I showed a custom of him that someone made on Instagram and like maybe piston cup details on him that would just be so incredible that would just be so awesome I feel like they would have like maybe put him in case G and him in case F since case F had barely anything besides variants so yeah this is my review on Chris and yeah he would just be I believe I will put him with my Piston Cup Cars 3, because obviously he wasn't in the Cars 1 Piston Cup. Right down, race official Tow Truck Tom was there to help. So, yeah, he's going to go over there. Adam, I'll put him in Cars on the road. So, yeah, this is my review on Chris Freightman. And, yeah, hope to review the GRC next soon, maybe on the channel. So, yeah, this is my review, and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.